Hello, I am uh, Dr. Maria Joseph and uh, I am an associate uh, professor from the Department of Home Science, Women's Christian College uh, based in Chennai and um, I have done uh, my specialization is in uh, fermentation of uh, different uh, food products especially yogurt I have developed for my research and um, that is a small introduction about me. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, cereals, millets and their products. So what is the importance of these? It is not only important to know any one food class, you know you have to know all the different uh, food classes and uh, what are the different uh, examples of these food classes, what are the nutrients contained in them and uh, how are the food structure varying from one class to the other and uh, why it is important to know all of this is so that we can know the different recipes in which we can incorporate and also you must have a knowledge on the nutrition or nutritive value of each of these uh, classes of food so that you can plan healthy menus and healthy diets and uh, unless you have this wide knowledge and in depth knowledge of every food class uh, can you uh, be a successful uh, nutritionist or a dietitian unless you get the whole picture of the different food classes. So now let us look into the actual millets and cereals which are the main food or the staple food of uh, millions of people the world over. Uh, if you take uh, India and Asia our staple uh, cereal is rice and uh, maybe up north we have more of wheat but if you see the entire world they have a lot of wheat and wheat products and uh, maybe a millet uh, consumption in different areas of the world it is more. Uh, but in compared to cereals millet consumption is less. So uh, nowadays the uh, people are becoming very health conscious and they want to know more about nutritious food and therefore they are taking some effort to know about uh, the nutritive value and the cooking conditions and they are going for safe food like organic food and uh, buying millets as such has become a little expensive uh, because it is not very widely grown as it used to be in the ancient times. So uh, therefore you need to pay close attention to this chapter which deals with cereals and millets. So first you know the difference between cereals and millets uh, and the structure, the nutritive value and each application in the food industry. So with this uh, perspective uh, you can uh, apply it for planning diets or even your own personal uh, menu planning and uh, for teaching in the community as well. The objectives of this module will enable you to obtain a knowledge of the various kinds of cereals and millets and their products. Also to learn about the structure of the cereal grain, the different classes of wheat and its application in the food industry and also to know the different forms of rice. Different types of cereals. The main staple cereal crops worldwide are wheat, rice, corn, barley, sorghum, oats, rye and millets. Less common cereals and plants that are used as cereals include amaranth, buckwheat, quinoa, spelt, teff and triticale. Let us look at the structure of the cereal grain. Plants that produce cereal seeds have a similar structure. The fruit of cereal kernel of the plant is covered by a husk also called as a hull or chaff which protects the kernel from environmental damage. The husk is removed after harvesting the grain. The shape and size of the kernel varies based on the particular type of cereal but all have similar features. All cereal kernels contain three major parts the bran, the endosperm and the germ as shown in the figure. Whole grain products contain all parts of the kernel excluding the husk. All cereal kernels contain three major parts the bran, the endosperm and the germ as shown in the figure. Whole grain products contain all parts of the kernel excluding the husk. The use of wheat flour for bread production is of worldwide importance. The gluten in wheat enables leavened dough to rise and produces bread with a light texture. Wheat contains more gluten than any other grain. As the principal cereal, wheat is the main ingredient of most bread products. Crackers, cookies, muffins, cakes, 
donuts, biscuits, pancakes, waffles, pastries, noodles, pastas, pizza and pie crust and many more breakfast cereals. Wheat flour is also used for baking and as a thickener in gravies, sauces, soups and stews. Classes of wheat. Wheat, there are different classes of wheat based on the time of the year when the wheat is grown, the type of kernel that is developed, whether it is hard and uh, the size of the kernel and also based on the uh, texture of the kernel, whether it is soft and hard. Wheat can be broken down into six classes and thousands of wheat varieties. Wheat is classified according to the time of the year it is planted the hardness of the kernels and the color of the kernels. The classes of wheat are hard red winter wheat, hard red spring, soft red winter, hard white winter, soft white wheat and durum wheat. Let us see the different wheat products. Many products can be made from wheat. Refined wheat flour, whole wheat flour, macaroni, pasta, noodles, etc. are the most common wheat products that we use daily. Each of these vary in their nutritive value. Gluten-free pasta products made with brown rice, corn quinoa and combination of grains are available. However, it is difficult to produce a high quality pasta product from a low protein grain such as rice that will be of comparable texture to pasta made with semolina. The tendency for low protein pastas to disintegrate into the cooking liquid is due to their weaker protein and starch matrix. When pasta is placed in boiling water, the starch molecules rapidly swell and are somewhat soluble whereas the protein molecules are completely insoluble and coagulate forming a network structure and traps the starch molecules. If a weak protein matrix is formed, the soluble starch molecules leak out of the matrix into the water producing a pasta product with a sticky gummy texture. In contrast to rice, quinoa flour is higher in protein value. Rice. Rice is one of the staple foods of uh, India and billions of people the world over after wheat. The vast majority of the world's rice crop is grown in Asia where rice provides more than 50% of the daily calories for more than half the world's population. Classification of rice. Rice is most commonly classified based on the size of the kernel. There are three such classifications. One is the long grain rice, the short grain rice and the medium grain rice uh, depending on the length of the kernel of the grain. Let us see the details. The relative length of the rice kernel is in relationship to its width determines its classification. The length of most long grain rice kernels is about 3 to 4 times the width. Short grain kernels have similar lengths and widths and are oval shaped. Medium grain kernels are longer and thinner than short grain rice, but not as long as th and thin as long grain kernels. Rice can also be classified according to its cultivation. Most rice is grown with the roots submerged in water and is known as lowland, wet or irrigated rice. Rice plants grown in hilly areas receive large amounts of rainfall and are known as highland, hill or dry rice. Finally, rice may be classified by its cooked texture which is due to the chemical composition. Compared to long grain rice, the starch is short grain rice has less amylose and more amylopectin which explains its sticky quality and the relative ease with which it can be attached with uh, chopsticks. Long grain rice cooks to a drier fluffier texture allowing the kernels to easily separate. Characteristics of medium grain rice 
are in between those of short and long grain rice. What are the different forms of rice? Thousand forms of rice are available worldwide depending on the type of rice and method of processing. Rice is very versatile and can be incorporated into most cuisines. You have uh, three types of rice. One is the brown rice which may or may not have the husk. Then you have uh, polished white rice which is known for its aesthetic value. It is smooth and very white looking and then you have the converted rice which can be either parboiled or with or without the husk. So, let us look into the details. Brown rice, all rice when harvested and hulled is referred to as brown rice. Frequently green kernels are found with brown rice because all the grains do not mature at the same time. Brown rice may have the bran removed or it may be kept as a whole grain brown rice. The bran including the aleurone layer comprises approximately 3 percent of the whole grain brown rice and is a good source of fiber. The endosperm and germ comprise approximately 93 percent and 4 percent of the brown rice kernel respectively. Brown rice absorbs more water and requires a longer cooking time than white rice. Rice bran causes a texture that is chewier and tougher compared to white rice. Polished white rice. Polished white rice has a smooth surface produced by milling and is the most common type of rice produced and purchased. Along with the bran and the germ, milling removes the fiber and most of the vitamins and minerals. Although some nutrients are replaced if the rice is enriched. Polished rice is sprayed with the enrichment nutrients and then coated with a waterproof edible film and hardens. The film prevents the nutrients from being easily removed if the rice is washed. However, enriched rice should not be rinsed prior to cooking. Next, converted rice. Converted rice is long grain rice, either brown or white, that is parboiled before milling. Parboiling means to cook a food, it is similar to blanching, but the cooking time is longer. To parboil rice, the kernels are soaked, steamed and dried before milling. This process removes the starch from the surface of the kernel and forces the nutrients from the bran into the endosperm. Parboiled rice therefore retains more nutrients compared to white rice and has the advantage of tasting the same. Converted rice is not pre-cooked or instant rice and it cooks more slowly than regularly milled rice. Food, food service establishments commonly use converted rice because the kernels stay firm and do not clump together. Corn also known as maize. Corn kernels grow in rows on a cob which is partially covered by corn silks and enclosed in a husk. It is the only grain that can be eaten as a fresh vegetable. Corn oil extracted from germ is high in polyunsaturated fatty acids. Corn has many products such as hominy, hominy grits, corn flour, corn syrup, popcorn and corn meal. Let us look in the details of each of these. Hominy. Hominy is the endosperm of white or yellow sweet corn kernels. Dried corn is soaked in hydrated lime or ayer which causes the kernels to swell and loosen the hulls. The hulls and germs are removed and the remaining endosperms are washed and dried. Hominy is available in canned and frozen forms and can be used as a side dish or in stews or soups. Masa harina is a finely ground flour produced with dried hominy is used in breads, tortillas and other Mexican and southwestern dishes.
how many grits they are dried how many that has been coarsely ground grits are boiled with water and commonly eaten as a hot breakfast dish in the southern united states india along with butter salt or cheese added for flavor grits can also be cooked in baked dishes quick cooking and instant grits are commercially available polenta is a popular northern italian dish prepared from honey grits corn meal is produced by drying and grinding dent corn meal is more coarsely ground than grits but not as fine as flour which is produced by shifting or further grinding the corn meal products made with meal have a grittier texture than products made with ground which is usually ground to a fine powder corn meal has a higher fat content than wheat flour corn starch is obtained from processed corn endosperm and is the most commonly culinary starch in the united states corn starch is used to thicken gravies pudding sauces even here in india and over asia corn syrup is produced by treating corn starch with hydrolytic enzymes corn syrups and viscous liquids of varying consistency and color and contain mainly fructose glucose maltose and dextrins dan corn syrup has a stronger flavor than light corn syrup barley a botanical name is h vulgare is a versatile grain worldwide production of barley is right behind that for wheat rice and corn the nutritive content is similar to corn but unlike corn barley contains the b vitamins niacin barley contains gluten and has a rich nutty flavor barley is found in various food products barley groats are whole barley kernels which are called barley berries barley berries are rolled flat for whole grain flaked barley pearled barley is milled and polished to remove the bran and germ and usually some of the endosperm it is used in soups stews and baby foods pearled barley also is milled and made barley grits and flour or rolled into flakes for use in hot breakfast cereals an important use of barley is for the production of malt which is sprouted dried barley whole barley kernels are steeped in water to allow the germ to sprout the sprouted or germinated barley produces important and it is used for flavor in malted milk additives and breakfast cereals oats a botanical name is a sativa are a popular hot breakfast cereal in the united states and the world over in addition to being used in breads muffins cookies baby foods granola bars and other baked and snack food items the components of oat kernels are strongly attached when the husks are removed the bran and the germ tend to remain with the oat kernels this property of oats may help account for its health benefits for example the water soluble fiber in oat bran has been helpful to prevent heart disease because most of the germ is usually present oats are higher in polyunsaturated fat than most other grain products dry quick cooking oats contain approximately 7% fat dry instant corn grits have about 2% and dry wheat farina has about 1% rai is another cereal uh, its botanical name is s cereal a has a number of uses it can be ground into a flour for making bread it can also be used in the production of alcoholic beverages such as beer and whiskey 
Rye also is grown for animal feed. Rye is found in various forms. Whole rye kernels are available as rye berries. Rolled flat rye berries are processed into flakes and used for hot breakfast cereals. Flat Swedish rye bread and rye crisp wafers. Millets, they are a group of highly variable small seeded grasses widely grown around the world as cereal crops or grains for fodder and human food. Millets are an important is an important crop in the semi-arid tropics of Asia and Africa, especially in India, Nigeria and Niger. With 97% of millet production in the developing countries, they are highly tolerant to extreme weather conditions such as drought and are nutritious compared to cereals such as rice and wheat. The most widely grown millet is pearl millet, also known as bajra, which is an important crop in India and parts of Africa. Other millets include thinai, foxtail millet, finger millet, ragi and varagu kodu millet. Millets used as cereals have a nutty flavour. They are cooked and eaten as porridge and used to make unleavened bread and beer. Because millets do not contain gluten, millet flour is mixed with wheat flour and other flours when used for baking. There are thousands of types of millets. Pearl millet is the most widely grown millet. Other common types are foxtail millet, proso millet, also called a hog common or broom corn millet, finger millet and teff. It is very nutritious and contains high levels of iron and calcium compared to other grains. Teff is ground into flour and fermented to make the son dough bread in Ethiopia known as injera. Injera is used as an edible plate Food is piled on the bread and pieces of bread are torn off for wrapping the food to be eaten. In addition, the leaves of the teff plant can be eaten as a vegetable. Thus, having gained a complete knowledge of each and every cereal, a millet, the characteristics of the structure, their location where they are grown, the different classification, and the different uh, cooking conditions which uh, enable it to be used for different dishes and uh, each and every product that can be made from different type of cereals now we are fully equipped to know which one to choose for which uh, dish and how much of nutrients uh, we need depending on which we can choose the product and uh, having uh, this knowledge we can go on to plan a variety of menus which uh, form part of a balanced diet and also uh, cost wise you are able to choose uh, depending on the availability and therefore it can be used in a society for a variety of dishes for different age groups right from a small uh, to a old age or also for uh, different uh, textures and products whether you want a porridge or a soup or you want a sweet or if you want a breakfast cereal or just a staple cereal or if you want to mix different flours to increase the nutritive value for example mixing wheat flour or uh, ragi flour and uh, corn flour if you want to meet and uh, mix it to get uh, increase the texture of a product and the nutritive value this knowledge that you have got from this module will fully equip you to do that.